My name is Guilherme Fontanella Sander. I'm from Southern Brazil, San Joaquin. My dad, in 2004, started his first orchard. I have more than 30 years that he's a consultant, and I grew up with him going to the orchards and walking around with him in the orchards. So now, I keep working on my master and my PhD. I need to go further. I need to go more and more education. So I'm gonna have a lot of information with his technical and practice knowledge. We can cross information and develop good stuff in the field. So that's why I'm looking for education and I walk in traveling all over the world. Why you're looking for education? I need to see a lot of situations and check what we have in our region and see what we can develop for the future in a condition that is not the best condition to grow apples. We have a lot of problems with winter chill hours. We don't have enough chill hours, winter chill hours. So we are using artificial bud break. Sometimes we don't have the best bud quality. So we need to work on bud quality for the fertilization, kind of pruning, kind of training systems. So a lot of points that you need to check before start to plant new orchards. This orchard that he started in 2004, in our area, people don't like high density. And my dad, he's like looking forward. <laughs> he's like a little bit forward of the other guys that don't think in the same way that he think. People say that they don't want to spend money on posts and wires. And he, he said, hey, Gimme, that's my nickname. <laughs> Gimme, don't listen to these guys. Look forward. What they are doing all over the world to keep pushing the production, make the payback faster than normal stuff. So in Brazil, we have, we call a triangle. We have three areas that we grow apples. Freiburgo, São Joaquim, both are at Santa Catarina State, and Vacaria, that's in Rio Grande do Sul. It's the southern, the most southern state in Brazil. And Freiburgo and Vacaria, we have deep soils with not too much rocks or no rocks. In San Joaquin, we don't have flat. We have some flat areas, but mostly are hills. We have a lot of hills. We have a soil that is very shallow and with a lot of rocks. So let's go to my area, San Joaquin area. So there, the culture of people is blending very vigorous rootstocks because we have shallow soils and a lot of rocks. So in four years, we are trying to develop apple there. And this rootstock that we use, they call Marubakaido. It's from Japan. Marubakaido is traditionally the best rootstock in that area. So keep, people keep planting. They increase a little bit the, the density. They went from 60, 60, no, from 600 trees per hectare, they went to 1,000. They are planting five meters by two. So it still has low density orchards. And people think that they don't want to expend money on wires and poles. They think, no, I just want to plant. They don't want to expend money. That's, they don't think that they are doing an investment. They think that they are expending money. And that's difficult to change the culture of a population on that area. But what we use in Brazil that is not common in other areas, I don't know if you have listened about, we plant marubacaido that's really vigorous in the ground. We put an interstock or an interstem of M9 and we graft the cultivar on the top. So, and if you have difference between 20 centimeters or 30 centimeters of interstem, you're gonna have more vigorous, more vigorous or less vigorous tree. If I show an orchard for you with marubacaido very vigorous, huge trees, okay, they have a lot of fruit on that. They can grow 100 tons per hectare but how long time they expand to start to grow apples? Sometimes four years, five years. I'm passionate because when you are a consultant, you reach a lot of orchards and you can see what are happening in different conditions. With knowledge and discernment, you can say, okay, these are happening because he did a different stuff or did, this guy did a different stuff. I think that the challenge moves me. That's what I love. And if I grow my own orchard, because sometimes be just a consultant, they're gonna ask, if you are a consultant, you are saying for me to do this, why you don't do why you don't go there and do yourself? So I need to show them that what I am doing, it's going 
up. I think that what I love is the challenge to be more efficient. So keep pushing, keep pushing me up is the challenge.